Monique, New York. What is going on everyone? It's Kelly here and we are here in Costa Rica. We have CJ, as you guys know, from San Diego with the bluefin tuna spearfishing. What's up guys? We got Malachi. Yeah. Malachi. <laughs> I had a brain fart there because the camera was rolling. We got Malachi. Uh, CJ actually hired Malachi to be a cameraman and video videographer on our trip today. And we have CJ's best friend, Alex, over here <laughs> leading the pack. <laughs> We're walking down to the Penga boats that are actually all up on the beach and you guys will be able to see how they put these boats on and off the beach and into the water. We're staying at this cute little hotel right up the road here. Um, probably only about a four minute walk to the to the panga boats that we're going to be riding on today. So every morning Julia, which is a family owned business, um, the mom, she makes us breakfast in the morning and she takes really good care of us. So tonight hopefully she's going to make us some fish. Um, this morning we just had a nice light plate of fruit before and spear fishing cake. and birthday cake. Today is CJ's 31st birthday. Feliz cumpleaños a ti. Hit it. Cha cha cha. Cumpleaños CJ. Cumpleaños feliz. Hey. Happy birthday CJ. I can't tell you my wish. <laughs> oh, you're not old. I'm always the youngest. Malachi, how old are you? 22. Oh my gosh, I'm not the youngest here. It's a baby. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's awesome. So. Anyways, we're gonna gear, get geared up. Um, today is the first day of spearfishing for us. Uh, Alex and I actually flew in two two days ago now. Um, so we've been kind of like relaxing for two days and we're anxious to get in the water because we came here to spearfish. Yesterday we went on a little bit of a waterfall hike. It was absolutely beautiful. I didn't really film too much. I just wasn't really in the filming mood because I know the next three days are gonna be pretty hardcore with filming, as you guys know, so. All right, you guys, let's push off and get on this boat. So since these boats are so beached, there's actually a really big tide here. So it's low tide right now, but when it's high tide, it will come up all the way. So these boats have to be pretty far up on the beach, but they take a literally a tractor and pull these boats off the beach. saw my Jamaica video we're not friends <laughs> last time I was in Jamaica we hand caught these big blue crabs and I got pinched real bad so now I know where to grab these crabs say hello a Costa Rican crab
cool. That was an adventure on its own. It's a whole episode right there. <laughs> right? Literally <laughs> pushing Costa Rican pangas into the water. Well, it's nice that it's actually flat right now because otherwise if we had big swell, it makes it crashing, so much more difficult crashing. because that's where you see those boat fails and you see the pangas just flipping in these Central American countries. Yeah, this panga is pretty narrow too and pretty long. You guys, let me introduce you to Captain Michael. What's Hi. up? Hi. <laughs> so we aren't going to hit blue water today, I don't think. I think we're just gonna hit some reef and some wrecks um, and see if we can't get onto some big snappers. Maybe a grouper, um, but you guys know, you never know what you're gonna see out there in the water. It's always a surprise. shooting one of the small little snappers but I didn't want to shoot something you know there. He shot, he shot, he shot. Once you got on the bottom, you shot pretty fast. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Ooh. Alex, you got a nice few barrel. Yeah. It took a couple dives to find them. Such a pretty color. Nice job, Alex. Yoo! them snapper. Captain Michael already has the munchies. What is this? Tuna? Tuna salad. Tuna salad? Yeah, especially have tuna salad. Tuna salad sandwiches. The special sauce. With the special sauce. So we just dove the wreck and it was pretty murky the first time we dove it. Um, I was only hitting probably like 35 to 48 feet and just the murkiness and the coldness when you dove down, like I wasn't having it. Uh, but luckily Alex shot dinner tonight. So it's a good thing that he's here. Um, but we're heading in right now. The sun's going down probably in about three and a half hours. Um, we're gonna hit a pinnacle. I don't really know if it's going to produce or if there's anything on it, but it's just this pinnacle that comes up in the water and sometimes fish like that so we're gonna stop and dive on that before we go in. We went to the wreck again and the water was much clearer and it didn't have that thermal climb deeper so I was able to hit 50 like easily with no problem so I was super stoked about that. You guys will see the footage of the wreck underwater with its two bears swimming through the wreck as well as the other jacks swimming around. <laughs> oh my gosh, and I, I was lined up on a small snapper, but I couldn't do it because then the Cubaras were like six feet behind them. In the wrong direction, I'm like looking around and then I had to turn around and look at the wreck. So, 
might be a little loud. We're running right now, but, but we'll see like y'all in the water at the pinnacle and then back on land. birthday fish. Happy 31st. Yeah, baby. Look at that big old, it looks like a big giant goldfish. It, it basically is. So sick, so sick. Beautiful. I love it. Gonna slap her in. Yep, go ahead. Sick. Two shafts one day, baby. <laughs> that was great. That, that was, was perfect. perfect. That was just what we needed. That was exactly what we needed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So we just hauled butt back to the beach. As you guys can see, all the pangas up here. Yeah. Captain Michael's calling in for that tractor to come get the boat so we can pull it up on the beach. But check out our fish box here. 
We got some stud fish in there. Once we get back up to the beach, Captain Michael's gonna go ahead and fillet these fish. Are you gonna fillet yours later? For yeah, I'm gonna fillet mine okay. later. So he's gonna fillet my uh, Almaco and Alex's Cubera that he shot. And then Julia back at the hotel is going to cook us a fabulous dinner. So I know this is the first video of the Costa Rica series. However, we're gonna fast forward to the end of our trip and Alex and I actually missed our small plane flight to get to San Jose, the international airport in order to fly back to Florida. So now we have to take a taxi, <laughs> five hours to San Jose, get a hotel and fly out the next day. But this bridge right here that we're walking on is called Crocodile Bridge, I think. And it's home to a bunch of crocodiles. When you look down in the water, there's supposed to be a lot of them. I've always wanted to come here and we're happening to pass through Crocodile Bridge. So we're gonna go check it out. So at least missing our flight, you know, wasn't the worst thing that could happen. I'm super excited to see these crocodiles. Oh my gosh. I see my first Costa Rican crocodile. Look at him. He's just sitting in the water right there. You see his back, his head and his nose. I think there's more on the other side of the bridge because there's a lot of people pointing and looking down. But look how gorgeous this is. Mountains in the back. Look, look at him. Just sitting there being a crocodile. Sorry for the cars. It's a busy road. I ain't gonna lie, like I, it's kind of spooky walking on this. How sick is that? I'm gonna zoom in with my phone real quick. Bark, bark. Oh, look at them all! How cool is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh. Oh, there's a, yeah, Mac Daddy right there in the water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 crocodiles. How cool is that? I've seen videos and pictures here with, I mean, there's hundreds of crocodiles on the bank. It's just such a sick, so, I look, that looks like a, looks like a, a crocodile school right there. <laughs> it could be. It might just be a branch. Oh, there's a little baby right there. How cool is that? I want to get down there and interact with them so bad. How cool is that? All right, you guys, we're going to go to San Jose. This video is ending. We still have two more videos after this one. So you guys stay tuned for the whole series of Costa Rica. Um, we shot some epic fish. So you guys stay tuned. And then after Costa Rica, I'll be going to Colombia for two weeks. And we're fishing the Amazon River and going offshore as well. So this video is ending. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and we'll see you guys on the next one.